Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. Now guys, I know I haven't actually done a vlog before, so I shouldn't actually say another vlog. I've done vlogs before, but I haven't actually uploaded any on my YouTube channel. Again, I know this is a late video. I promised a video in October or something. That just didn't work out. I'm sorry about that. Full story will be told later, maybe. I don't know if I want to. But yeah, today's vlog is about me going to the hospital i'm gonna get a drip i'll tell you guys the full information in a little bit but let's get this vlog started i'm gonna show you my whole process from the time i wake up to the time i get into like uh, to the time i get back home actually to the hospital do everything and get back so let's go guys so guys i woke up really late this morning and just decided to do my body dressings instead of all my dressings here's me taping my neck dressings and here's me with all my dressings down laid down on my bed this is just what i use for my body so yeah i know it's a lot but here we go this is my nurse taping my back dressings down and yeah so these dressings in total all of my dressings take about three to four hours but i mean we tried our best to finish these body dressings as quick as we could because the ambulance was waiting outside as you'll see in the few next clips but um yeah so we were just trying as quick as we could to finish um taping everything and putting all the dressings on so that we could be on time because these ambulances really don't like to wait for me so yeah this is me just you know, just getting my dressing on. And I have an infection recently, um, so it's quite painful actually to change these dressings, so I have to take regular painkillers. So I tried my best not to cry this dressing change, so I actually didn't. But this is the carer just taping everything down now, just getting everything ready. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Mm -hmm. So guys, this is the view out my window and the ambulance is right there waiting for me. So let's go in it. So we finally reached the hospital and this is it, the front view of Great Woman Street Hospital. So now we're just gonna walk in the hospital. Here we go. And basically this is me, hello everybody. And this is what it looks like inside. They decorated it with really amazing and lovely, beautiful Christmas decorations. So now we're just walking inside the hospital. This is my ward, I'm finally in the ward now. And yeah, this is what it says in front of my door. This, there's my name, Fazil, right there. And I'm on Badger Ward, so there's a little badger there and this is my room now we enter my room and you find my delicious snacks that we kind of stole but yeah let's not get onto that shall we and yeah this is my armband they gave me kind of had to blur out my details but oh well so guys my doctors and nurses just came in and i spoke to them about a load of different things including my medication what problems I was having because I have an infection at the moment in my skin and I'm taking antibiotics for that and we spoke about different problems I was having so that all went well now I'm waiting for them to come and put a cannula in my arm so be ready for a little gory scene in a minute just had a visit from my physio she's a really nice person hopefully we're planning to go in the hydro pool of Great Ormond Street real soon so stay tuned for that, might post that on my YouTube channel, might not, I don't know, but we'll see. So here is my amazing um, vascular access um, person from like the team. There's two of my favorites. I didn't ask her if she wants her name on camera, so I won't say it in case she doesn't. 
which is ultimately my favourite. You're going to... So what you just saw in the last clip was she was just getting everything ready for my blood test. Uh, it's, it's a blood test, uh, basically what they're doing. You can see now on the screen. Uh, they're putting it... She's putting a cannula inside my arm and then she'll take my blood test from that cannula. Look away now! There are specific steps to a blood, uh, cannula and a blood test, basically. As you can see, she was spraying my arm. It's the spray that numbs the skin and the area. Now she's just putting the cannula, the needle, inside my arm. And now she's basically just making sure uh, what happened was the blood wasn't coming so I thought we hadn't got into a vein but the blood did end up coming what had happened was the spray was so cold that it had numbed the area and just, like frozen kind of the blood so as the blood got to room temperature it was coming out now she's just taping the cannula everywhere obviously because I'm a patient with EV you can't use normal dressing so she's using these special tapes to tape down the cannula and if you didn't know this about cannulas, there's um, an, uh, there's a straw with a needle inside. And what she's doing now is she's putting swabs underneath the uh, bit where she's about to take the needle out, but the straw stays inside your vein. So she's just about to take the needle. She's done it now. She's take the, taken the needle out, and now she's about to screw on a syringe. Now it, this is where the blood test happens. She's now going to take my blood test. All the blood is getting filled up inside that syringe. I didn't say this, but look away if you're squeamish. As you could see, as you could see, I was just looking at my camera woman because she is actually squeamish and she's got a fear of blood, but, like, she is amazing. She fought it like a boss and she actually filmed this whole, um, basically, clip for me. Uh, with my blood test and my cannula and everything. So um, she's still filling the syringe up with all the blood. And now she's getting the tube, which uh, is basically, a, you attach it to the cannula so uh, it can stay in. So now she took the uh, syringe out with the blood and she put this in. She's now flushing me uh, with cold water. It's salty water, basically. <laughs> Uh, that she's just flushing through the cannula. Uh, what a cannula is, if you guys don't know, is it's different to like a needle you use during a blood test because with a cannula you attach a little thing on that on the end and you can keep the needle in if you're gonna have more um, like uh, stuff to if you're gonna have more needles instead of like getting more needles pricked into your arm you use a cannula so that you don't have to keep doing that it stays in there and you can just put whatever you need inside your veins so that's essentially what it is so because i'm getting an iron trans uh fusion uh it's basically that so now she's just gonna bandage the whole cannula up basically so there are these special dressings for the cannula. Uh, I told you about the special tapes, and there's this special dressing. It's kind of like cling filmy. You put that on the skin, and you can. It's really easy to take off, even though it's sticky. Use the special spray, emollient spray, and it comes off really easily. So after that, she's just gonna bandage uh, the whole cannula up with just like a normal bandage, just to keep it inside the arm. Look away now for a wee bit of blood. So this is where she's basically putting on my blood. So for the blood test, you put it in different little tubes. Uh, that go to specific um, areas, so like once for, to check my iron, once to check my zinc, once to check vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, all that kind of stuff. So she's just filling it into all the different bottles. Uh, so yeah. Look back now for the last time, or at least I think. Basically, this is my occupational she therapist. She helps with my hands and like stuff I use for my hands, and she's just everything to do with my hands and feet. So as you can see, my hands right now. If my camera woman, please zoom in. Yeah. So you can see my hands at the moment. 
they my fingers are coming downwards and there's a lot of webbing in between my fingers and they when they've all webbed together it equals this as you can see my pinky and my ring finger have completely stuck together so what the problem was was that this putty that i use fit in between my fingers at night one of them weren't going completely inside the finger so i just needed her to fix it so it went inside so that doesn't or the finger doesn't come up and web up so that it doesn't shut down completely so she just fixed that what she's basically doing here is she's using a mixture of white putty which fixes which makes it basically fix in a position after being kept in that position for a long time she's mixing it with green putty which i've actually had some before you can just play around with it it doesn't fix so she mixes the two up so that she can put it in a, a, a specific position for my fingers and then she will just keep it there for a little while and then they'll uh, the putty will just ultimately get fixed into that position so that i can use the splints at night to make sure that my fingers don't start webbing up uh, and stick together, basically. Here I'm basically getting my heart rate checked, which is that device on my finger. I'm just checking my heart rate. And the thing you can see on the arm, you've probably seen it before, is a blood pressure uh, machine, basically. And uh, I did my temperature after, you'll see that in a little bit. But um, ultimately what he's doing is he's taking my blood pressure, taking my heart rate, and he's just gonna check how all of it is basically. So including blood pressure and heart rate, he did my temperature, and that's what you didn't see in the clip. So what happened was we got a temper dot, put it under my tongue, waited a minute, and then it came out at 38.5. Now that's a high temperature, so I just went, what? And then he was like, yeah, 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 let's just do it again. So we did it again, making sure it was completely a minute. Then it came out at 37.9. And if you know your temperatures in the human body, 37.9 is a complete borderline to where you get a temperature. So he's just going to go tell the doctors. Let's see what's going to happen now. So after taking thousands and thousands of repeated temperature checks, every single one was 37.9. I'm just like, I'm so confused at this point, and so were the doctors, because basically there's this thing that happens to me after I take like paracetamol, for example, and I get really hot and sweaty, so I was telling them yes because of that, they were just like, oh my gosh, you've got temperature, you're going to die, this and that, and I was just like, no, and then in the end they realised, oh yeah, this kid is just going to stay on 37.9, they decided, oh yeah, let's start his drip for now, so look forward to the drip in the next video. Flip. So this is it guys, finally someone came to fix up my iron infusion. The name for this infusion is a pharynget injection. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. What they're doing here is they're just taping around the port of my cannula and the port of the infusion. So she's just cleaning it there and she's just about to tape around it so nothing falls on the ground. You could just see they just passed the uh, long line of the in infusion to the back there. She's just going to flush it now and then they're just going to attach the um, bottle of the infusion to my cannula i'll tell you a little bit about the infusion like the infusion itself now the thing they're infusing into me it's called a pharynget as i said before its color looks a little a bit like coke the doctor just came in and she was like yeah your coke's ready so me and my friend have a little joke about that wink wink if you know who you are but yeah that's about it um let me tell you a little bit in detail about it. So, one mil of solution contains 50 milligrams of iron as ferric carboxymaltose. So, they're just going to put, uh, I think it was about 200 mils inside of me. It took about 15 minutes for the whole process to be done. She's still just touching that to me now and it's finally started. 
I'm going to zoom in now. My camera woman will kindly zoom in now and show you guys in detail what's happening here. So this is my cannula and that's where they attached it. And as I said, they wrapped tape around it. I told you it looks a bit like coke. So they attached it to my cannula there with the bandage still on my cannula to just the end of the cannula really. So it's really an easy process to get done. So it's actually going into my arm as I speak right now. And as you see on the footage, I could actually feel it. It was really cold and it was as weird feeling as something going inside my veins they did slow it down a little bit because i said i felt it i did actually still feel it but i actually kind of like the feeling so i didn't actually tell them to slow it down or anything so this is it zoomed in as you can see the wire now going all the way back that's the clamp so it's a really long wire going back to the machine where they've set the whole thing up so i zoomed it in closely here to show you that's the liquid that's the fur inject they're putting inside of me and each drop drops down into the machine and the machine pumps it all the way through this really really long wire going straight into my cannula going straight into my veins so you can see right there where I'm pointing now, that's where my vein is in my cannula and it's going straight up into my vein. Here's a zoomed in like clip. You can see that the fur inject actually drops in into another container which passes it onto my vein. That buzzing means the infusion is done. I've just pressed the button to alert the nurses. So guys, they came and you can see the water pack right there. They're just going to flush me with some salty water. And she's just attaching the flush now to my cannula and the area. You can see it right there. There's still some like fur inject inside and they've just added a flush on top of it. So they're just going to flush the rest of it now. So guys, after ages and ages of waiting for like some weird reasons, like they said they had to take their blood tests again even though they took them and they just love to make us wait really. Like after the drip you do have to wait like for h about half an hour to make sure like all my observations are alright. They made us stay about two to three hours really. So yeah, kind of not half an hour. They assured me like, yeah, it would just be half an hour. And then they took like ages. So here you can just see they finally decided to take the cannula off. She just unbandaged the whole area where the cannula was and the cannula was actually kind of half out already the straw was kind of half out so now she's just basically taking everything off like the sticky cling filmy thing i was on about these are the special packets of spray i was talking about there wasn't spray this time she showed me a new thing this is basically a packet of emollient so what she's gonna do is she just opened the top and now she like the same liquid is inside the spray so it's like emollient she sprayed like pours it all over this uh, like corners of the cling filmy dressing thing so that she can like kind of pull it off off the side so now she's just trying to find a corner where she can just pull it off from the side i'll be honest it did hurt a little bit because the cannula was already half out and like we were all in a kind of a mess basically we were just trying to pull everything off but everything was on top of each other so like it was like kind of pulling the area i was a bit worried i won't lie but it was all right in the end so i was really fascinated by spray like the packet thing actually like i couldn't actually feel it on my skin it was a really weird feeling couldn't actually feel it at all so it was really weird actually to be honest but um kind of took longer than usual to take this cannula off this time it was a bit stubborn but in the end we finally did manage to get the silly thing off so just a little bit more spray a little bit more emollient and we just untape everything and we just pull it off pull it out basically here's a close-up shot for you guys so i'm gonna do a full screen slow-mo in the end if you're scared of gory stuff just look away for like 10 seconds that's about it really i won't put the start stop things but this is the final little bit and then she's just gonna pull it out right now basically we're gonna put a swab on the area where the cannula is in and then she's just gonna pull it out right now basically that's about it the full screen slow-mo is coming right about now 
Here's it zoomed in, guys. You can now see that the cannula was slowly coming out. Here it was kind of halfly out. The straw, you can see the straw there as well. It's kind of really detailed seeing my camera quality, but yeah. As you can see, it was actually a really dead slow run because the cannula was actually already completely out by the time we got to the end of it. But here it is, it's come out completely and then we just put the swab on the area so it doesn't bleed. So guys, we've just got told that we can go home now. So I'm already got my jacket on, got my mask on. I've got a present uh, down there. I don't know if you can see it right there, yeah. So yeah, we're going to take that home. We've got all our stuff. Kind of stole food again, but not going to get onto that again. But yeah, let's go home. I'm now sitting in the reception just waiting for the cab to come and take me home so let's see how long it takes I got so bored of waiting I asked the guy at the reception how long it was going to take he went an hour and I was really confused because the people at the ward told us it would only like they were ready straight away so they lied to us so they could go home but you know I opened my present in the meantime I actually really thank God for this because I lost my old headphones and like I'm so happy I got so happy like at the time because I got wireless new like wireless headphones so I hope you guys get great presents along the holidays as well and yeah guys and finally the ambulance decided to come <laughs> Guys, I have reached back home now. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired. I'm probably gonna go to sleep now. Uh, we reached in about an hour from leaving there. So yeah, I'm back home now. Thanks guys so much for watching my first ever vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, share. Remember guys, the most important thing on the channel is to share the video so that we raise more and more awareness because of course, that's the most important thing on the channel. So thanks so much for watching. If you wanna see more vlogs, do let me know. And remember, tell me what other videos I can do. Uh, this is probably going to be the last video for this year. So I hope you guys have good holidays. So yeah, guys, see you guys next year now. Bye. Mm -hmm.